A department manager distributed a number of pens, pencils, and pads among the staff in the department, with each staff member receiving X pens, Y pencils, and Z pads. How many staff members were in the department? So statement number one tells us that the number of pens, pencils, and pads that each staff member received were in the ratio of two to three to four. Well, here we have to be very careful. What we're dealing with is a ratio. We're not guaranteed that each person received exactly two pens, three pencils, and four pads. They're merely in that ratio. It could mean that, for example, the person, each person receives 10 pens, 15 pencils, and 20 pads, multiplying that by five. We have no idea how much material each person receives, and what's more, we have no idea the total amount of material being given out. So this in no way gives us any way to figure out how many staff members there are. So this statement by itself is insufficient. Statement number two tells us that in total what were distributed were 20 pens, 27 pencils, and 36 pads. Well, first of all, notice that these numbers are in the same ratio, 18 to 27 to 36. This is, in fact, the same ratio as 2 to 3 to 4, so that makes sense. But this also, this limits the number of staff members, but we can't determine it precisely because the number of staff members could be any common factor of this. For example, there could be nine staff members, each receiving two, three, and four of the item. There could be three staff members receiving six pens, nine pencils, and 12 pads. There could even be one staff member just receiving all of it. Of course, that staff member would be like they died and went to Christmas on the farm. But at any rate, we have no way of knowing which of these is a possibility. And so even this statement by itself is not sufficient. Well, when we combine the two statements, unfortunately, we don't really get new information because statement number one, this information is actually already contained in this information. So combining the statements doesn't move us any closer. Combined, the statements are still insufficient, and the answer is E.